Hey guys, what is going on? Redmash here, and welcome back to the episode of our Hidden Combo series. Today, I'm going to be taking you into a deck that wasn't really originally my idea per se, but um, it was kind of thrown out there in a Discord discussion. So I did end up, you know, making sort of a, I guess, draft of the deck, showed it, modified it, and played around with it in a bit, and I'm happy to now show it to you guys. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and showcase the Combo Shroud deck right now. So here is the deck list for what I'm calling the Combo Shroud. Now, this deck does, um rely i guess a bit on the combo units to really make it interesting but overall it's been a pretty fun deck now of course the purpose is to get as many sort of combo units you as you can out onto the field in order to successfully use a grim falls command of course giving all combo units the ability to activate set ability twice so con artists would gain two gold on hit rather than one the flux would gain four minor spells rather than two see which you know four there rather than two you guys get the idea there um <coughs> and to help me with that of course we do carry a bunch of ramp in this deck you guys can see the captain in here uh the troll gonna got that little bit of treasure con artist is another great tool and um, another thing that I found really interesting for this deck is, and it's kind of the reason why I play around with this deck, is the inclusion of Shroud. Um, now, honestly, if you guys want a more reliable combo deck, honestly, Shroud um, may be, you know, just wiped out completely and you can fill a couple of other spots in here. Uh, like Minotaur probably at 3, Dagger Storm at 3, then maybe something else at 3, I'm thinking. Maybe a Captain Armory. Uh, but I am trying the Shroud in this deck because I do, uh, you know, I've had some interesting sort of success in the Beast of Red Cloak deck. So I do want to experiment a bit more with the Red Cloaks, and um, I find that this is the best deck to do it in. Because if you reinforce a combo unit like Flux, Sea Witch, or um, Mordok, with a shroud, they become a much more, you know, scarier threat, and the ability to activate their combo twice uh, just creates, you know, this huge turnaround in the games um, that I kind of find just fun and enjoyable to watch. Um, so, I mean, other than the combo units themselves, I mentioned to you guys, uh, Con Artist, uh, Flux, Sea Witch, and Mordok. Those are, of course, the only combo units we're running. Um, if I look, let me just take a quick peek here, because I don't think there were any sort of initial ones that I thought. I mean, you got, so got Serpent Witch, Dwarf Paladin, and Cleric. Uh, Cleric might be maybe one that you want to consider. Maybe that might be a good substitution if you guys don't have one of the combo units and you still want to work with as many. Although I think what we have right now is good. The other ones don't really provide all that much in the game enough, whereas a second... Uh, combo would be really effective um, so the combo units kind of stay where they are for now uh, everything else uh, I mentioned shroud already but everything else is kind of straightforward standard stuff lumberjack guard blacksmith armory the hovels uh, the shield like you carry in here for some draw because you know other than lumberjack our draw isn't looking too strong so I'm often to play two shield as well it also helps keep those combo units out uh, longer uh, scope general good stuff right there armory goes to the blacksmith uh, captain for some ramp uh, minotaur for some extra muscle arbiter for heal cracks again additional draw in there and like I said more luck is another combo so with that being said that pretty much covers the deck let's go let's go ahead excuse me and jump into the matchups and show you guys how a couple of games went with this deck all right, opening hand here, not looking the best it could be. I'm going to stop out the cracks, see if we get anything. Troll Gunner is all right, but definitely doesn't really help us. I see a little tricky ramp with the southport into a Troll Gunner, but again, we don't know what our opponent's exactly running at this point. Um, I see green and red, so I'm thinking to myself, perhaps a swarm-based deck, undead potentially. That's been going around a little bit lately, um, so I, again, wouldn't be surprised there. Salahar Soldier comes out, though. Alright. Um, I don't want to deal with that, so I'm just going to kind of dagger it away. And that way we can actually get out of Southport Captain or Con Artist to guard whatever he has coming next. Probably the 
Captain before the Con Artist, because I do have Grimthal in here. So Con Artist will be a nice target to have Grimthal with, and especially I you know do want to get more units, though, before I just place a Grimthal, because a Grimthal and a Con Artist isn't really worth it. It's when I can play it on a lot of different units uh, that really makes the um, Con Artist that much stronger. Oh, okay. An aggressive ram. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to see what he goes for here. Um, he can go for face. He's not going to trade the captain, probably. So I'm hoping my captain stays alive for a little bit of a uh, blacksmith con artist play here. I mean... I'm kind of one gold short. Okay, he actually trades the Ramrus, which isn't a good idea. Because obviously the repost damage is going to kill off the Ramrus, so face might have been a better idea. Although I am running Crusaders. But this does leave me an opportunity to play the Sea Witch now without any kind of repercussions. Although Warlocks do give me the sense of if I play the Sea Witch, he can burn it, which won't be fun. Uh, probably one of, the, one of the main weaknesses of this deck is the... Um, uh, the well, the fact that things can get easily burned off, I should say. All right, so that's gonna do some tricky stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. You're definitely not moving that pillar anywhere without any sort of wind cards. So I don't know what the idea is with the pillar. I I don't know, but I can bounce to see what you're too off of that. Which will, which will be good. Although, again, I want to see what this guy is rocking. Because right now, this seems like a more aggro-based deck. Just kind of shoot for face and ignore everything else. But at this point, he hasn't gotten a single point of damage onto my castle. Uh, ooh, alright. Curse of Exhaustion. That surprisingly came in handy. So, he thinks my Sea Witch is kind of disabled. Which, you know, is fair to assume. Although, the scout moving in on the sea, which is not a good idea, because that's why we do carry Blacksmith with us. So let's go ahead, we'll do a little bit of this. And to save our sea, which we're going to have to trade both skeletons into the scout. Alright, so that was a neat little um, play there. The Curse of Exhaustion to kind of disable the sea, which and I'm wondering if he has more of those. I don't think he does. But now I do have to start playing some troll guns in my hand. They are starting to pile up, unfortunately. Uh, um, so that's a bit odd. Guards would have caught me off guard. Well, mm, mm, that was a terrible pun. Uh, army as well. Misplayed the armory, so I can assume this guy is not uh, super well versed in the game yet. Which is alright, I guess. But, let's see if I can make something happen here. So you can go to that. Goes here, goes here, and a troll gunner down here just to kind of boost our presence a little bit on the board here. Troll gunner especially dangerous now thanks to the recent buff. A lot more of him has been seen in sort of ladder competition. So if you guys are looking for an interesting kind of pirate unit or kind of an overall great pirate unit to add, troll gunner definitely something to look into, especially because it gives that treasure. Talibos now coming out. A little zombie sacrifice there. Alright, I can respect that. Archer. Uh, Alright, well, this is why we do carry the scope as well. Now we're going to create a dangerous troll gunner here. 5, 6. We're again going to bounce off. At this point, I think I'm just going to take out the pillar. Because I don't know how much it's really going to do for us. It's sitting here. I could bounce more off of it, but it just seems pointless at this point. And then we'll throw out yet another troll gunner. He can get some nice blaze value here if he's got it in his hand. But he's down to one card. I don't think it's going to be blaze. And even then, yeah, no, it's not blaze. It's sunflower. So at this point, I think the game is going to pretty much wrap up at, you know, kind of as we're getting into the end phases here. Uh, Flux. All right. I would like to take Grimfall's command, though, at some point before this game ends. I'm going to go ahead and... I, that was sort of a bad play on my part. Because now that's going to kill off. But at this point, we've kind of secured ourselves already. The guy's working off the draw. And we're just... Essentially, I'm waiting for Grimthal's command to just pop out and destroy the board. 
Acolyte. Mm. Armory, alright. Getting a little bit better here. If I can snipe that Acolyte, given the fact that my Troll Gunner has scope. Pacifism and f Ice Weaving. I almost said Frost Weaving. Okay, we'll do this. And that should pretty much be a game over. Unless you got Swordsman, which even then won't really take out everything. So, first match, gonna go into a win here. I think we might do one more just to really try and see if we can find the combination. Uh, because obviously our opponent here may not have been, again, super well versed in cards and castles just yet. But anyway, good game, gonna wrap that up for our victory. Let's move on to match number two and see if we can actually pull off the Grimthal's command. Alright, match number two, I don't like the Craxis or Armory in my hand, so I'm going to swap them out. Shroud and Arbiter, not the best replacements. Um, yikes, what do we do with this hand? Our opponent's clearly playing some kind of trap, I assume. Judging by the colors, at least. Um, yikes, he's going to get some... If he ends up trapping the Salahar, pretty nuts. Okay, now it's going to be a guard play. That's fair. Alright, he actually pushed those guards fairly aggressively, too. Which is surprising. Yikes, kind of a full force assault here. Alright. So let's go ahead, we'll do this. I'm gonna go for the... Probably not the right guard to go for. And then, actually, let's go ahead and do this, too, to make him a more viable threat and harder to take out at that. I remember we do have the shroud, so we can go ahead and use it. Um, yikes! I don't know what that trap is, and I'm not liking it. All right, what are you? I'm gonna find out. Ayajitsu. Yep. All right, that's fine. Sorry, we can trade our lumberjack here. So this is a fairly aggressive deck. I'm going to go ahead and I, uh, cost Curse of Exhaustion these two units, kind of slow down the damage I'm getting on face here. And I can easily, you know, deflect the next two turns of damage with a uh, Reinforce. So I'm not super concerned here. Again, the IHSU trap pretty much confirms to me that he is running a trap-based deck. So we have to probably watch out uh, in terms of Mystic Dojo and him getting some crazy trap draws in the near future. Uh, we're going to have to kind of shut that down eventually. And again, we do have the Arbor's Return, so... Oh, he's actually pushing back now. Uh, okay, curious. Not sure why he's kind of falling back like this, but we're going to take somewhat of an advantage with this. Yeah, I'm going to go for my armory play. Uh... I'm going to go up here to avoid any chain potential. He could obviously target the armory though right now with the Salahar Rider right with a lightning blade. That'd be, you know, a pretty heavy investment. There goes a Faithful Drake plus Dragon Temple. Alright, so are there more Drakes incorporated into this deck? Drake Dance. That's a nice way to get your Flux in a position to hit my castle. Witch Bolt. Ooh. Not the right time for a Witch Bolt, I can tell you that. But he does have the Witch Bolt, so kind of our idea here. Alright, Salahar. Oh, damn. There's the Grimthal's Command. Alright. Make that two Grimthal's Commands. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit here. We can also... Oh, perfect. We can fear this away. And then reinforce our building for more draw. Obviously, I assume Flux is going to get Witch Bolted, which is fine. If he does Witch Bolt it, it's more value for us, because we're actually getting the draw. He's going to Ignition, so he's probably going to summon another unit then. Alright, so he's saving the Witch Bolt. That's a fair play. Uh, he's actually Witch Bolting the Armory. Okay, even better for him. I can respect that. I can respect that. Um, hmm. Another... Mm, all the Dragon Temples going down. Alright. So we, unfortunately, don't have a solid way to deal with this. We 
yeah, I'm going to end up doing this for now and seeing, because I immediately, I'm going to jump to the fact that he probably has a Woten right now. If he's putting all, all of this force for dragons. I think we can, all right, he's going to, he's going to dry guess dig for it, I guess. But again, I'm not worried about our current position that Faithful Drake will die if we don't really do anything to it. If he Wotens it as well, I think he knows it's not going to be beneficial for him. Okay, there's a Dragon Knight going down. Alright, so these are going to be a slight problem. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. For draw here. This Drake is dead as well, so his... Dragons are essentially cleared. He still got the Dragon Knight, which doesn't have a Luminaris potential, so we're fine there. He does have the Green Drake. Hassan's coming out. That One of them can clip the Kraxis, but he's going to have to buff that, which I don't think he wants to waste a buff on a Hassan City Guard just to kill off a Kraxis. Or, nope, he's going to go for a Dragon Knight, so he will end up filling my hand here. Ooh, can we actually do a little bit of sneaky plays here? I think we can. We can do some sneaky plays. Now, preferably... Uh, ooh. Alright. Um, we can pull this forward. And then do this as well. There we go. And then maybe if this green drake advances, we can do a Grimthal and a Mordok. Alright, dojo finally coming out, as I kind of guessed there would be at least one dojo in here. He's going to ignition. Alright, kill me off. And the journey of the faith as well. Not going to help him too much. So I think what we can do here... It's going to be a shame to just waste a Grimthal, but we are going to do one, at least one Grimthal. Get some beautiful castle damage, we'll get rid of you, we'll move you up one. And see if he go, if he gets uh, any sort of luck with the draw here. I mean, I do have a Wraith on face, so that shouldn't, oh, he's going to give up. Alright, so, a tiny bit of a preview there for what we can do with Grimthal. We did end up getting it on the Mordox, you kind of can see what the plan is. Obviously, it takes a little bit more uh, setup to do it. It's not going to be an immediate one-turn thing. But when you do get that, you know, little Mordok grimfall combination, it's fun. But of course, pairing that with the Sea Witch and the Con Artist and the Flux as well. Uh, all of what makes this deck shine. So overall, I think some interesting demonstrations to kind of show you guys that maybe if you don't have the Grimthal, there are some other ways uh, to win with this deck. Uh, so with that being said, I think we're going to take you guys right to the outro. With that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this edition of Hidden Combos, be sure to give a like, share with friends, and of course, comment down below your thoughts on the deck. I did think that it was an interesting deck, uh, one, particularly if you are interested in running a combo-based deck. And the inclusion of Shroud, you know, it's a very underrated spell in my opinion, so it should add a little bit to the deck. Uh, but again, comment your thoughts on that deck below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And while you're down there, if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help show your support to the channel and help us grow all by clicking that subscribe button at no additional cost to you. So, with that being said, guys, that's all from me for now. So, until next time, stay gaming.